Back at it again. Twelve noon, hot summer's day. It's a Saturday. I had an awesome run this morning. Finally, I am back home in Kataio. It's been about five weeks, grab me. Uh, and I kid you not, the first thing we gotta get into is our Japanese friend. I was at the fence when I came back earlier. He's like, hey, I'm going to get some extra lechon from the fiesta yesterday. Can we pack you it here at your place? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for Dai and Benedict and pack you some lechon. The lechon left over. Lechon pack you. Is it is this old lechon? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's the part of this. Maybe legs. Leg. Leg part. From the van out fiesta. Hey, unse terada. Unse terada. You get you get the lechon. Literally just a hunk of old frozen lechon <laughs> from the fiesta. Oh, is sir. it li livery? Sir Kim, give this. No way. Yesterday. Garlic wrapper, then. Mm. There we go. Bye. Bye. There's a salt bay. Huh? Pepper bay. <laughs> no way, man. No way. Wait, fire day. There it is. We're in the fire. How much are we gonna put in this? Quite a bit, no? Like quite a lot, Diva. Maybe like maybe like half? Uh, no. Uh rollers? You need like how much? 50 Only fifty ml? Oh, yeah. Maybe hundred. We'll see. Anyways, from what I know. Depends on the taste. Depends on the taste. Mar, you confirm this. Paxu Paxu refers to cooked with vinegar, Diva. Hmm. Okay. So anything cooked with vinegar, like you can see like Paxio is the Paxio Baka. Can you pack your baka? Maybe. I think some, yeah. Yeah, I think it's actually three in hometown. Yeah. Sapatis, right? Yeah. Um, but this year, this was tuba, and it became suka, it became vinegar. So we're gonna dump a whole bunch of this in with that meat, add some garlic, add some onions, add some luya, a little bit of peppercorn. Oh, oh, square, square, lang ba? Really? We're gonna use cocoa sugar? No way, okay. Cocoa sugar. Nice buff. Yeah, man. Just that much? No. A little bit more. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I mean, and so that. I keep speaking to Galog because I've been in Lausanne so much the past month. So if you hear me scramble, if you hear me scramble brain saying like Anoyan instead of Ansela, it's because I'm still waking up. Ice in the belly. Huh? What was that? The one that's stitched in the belly. Oh. While we wait for the Paxio to cook, it's time to introduce you to something that's been going on the past five weeks. This is called raised bed, Diba. Raised bed gardening. Raised bed gardening. So a Kumar and our what? A cheap structure. A cheap structure. Is that what we're calling it? What what exactly is it, Brad? I'm gonna ask you the explanation. What what is this? Raised bed gardening. <laughs> <laughs> because we cannot grow straight from the sun. Yeah. So that's why we need to incorporate like if you see under this, mm. oh we put all the stems, branches of what's actually in here? Huh? What's actually in here? Soil. It's a mixed soil. Uh rice rice stems and rice hulls. 
also this one wood chips so wood chips mixed soil rice stems and mm. rice hulls mm. and then how long did you guys actually how long has it been in here for already already a month we need more one month ah, so two mm. months and then it's just going to be planting forever well, so it just makes the soil bed yeah cool man but here because we have amihan we will rest it for four months you cannot grow an amihan man yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all really the salt right. and everything Gravy. We have cucumber there. Asa. It's growing. Oh, oh no way, really? Mm. Oh, that's cool. All the way up. Mm. Cucumber, cucumber, oregano, peppers. These are lemongrass. Underneath me is lemongrass. So they do the and these fruit trees, which ones do we have? We have uh this is Santol. Santo. Mm. And then Avocado. Avocado. And then Rambutan. Rambutan. And Tambis. And Tambis. What the heck is going on here? Sinkamas. Sinkamas? Oh, it's growing here. Oh my gosh. You see? No way. Oh. Sinkamas. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's really a sinkamas mm. there, dude. So Calabasa. yeah, the past. Squash bread. Calabasa? We just throw everything, the seeds here and, and they, they just grow. grow? Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, uh, one thing that we have also learned over the past couple of years here is that things will grow um, even if they're just like dropped or thrown I want to show you on the other side of the fence uh, there's another property uh, somebody else already owns it and there was like I guess maybe last year or something some birds just kind of played around with some papaya and look at this I'm gonna show you boom a papaya tree just showed up literally and it was so fast, so yeah, gardening, raised bed gardening. That's just going down on the property uh, just to the side of where my house is here. So you even put some seaweeds in here? Oh, as a fertilizer bed. It's no like everything organic matter. Mm. It's basically organic, raised bed organic gardening. Fred, don't panic. It's organic, don't panic. Oops. All the... Food scraps, vegetable food scraps. Oh, oh yeah, it's going uh, in. You there. see, there's uh, worms here around. And we even look at this bread. It's organic fertilizer, banana. Whoa, what? It smells like. Yeah, it smells like. Oh organic. my god! <laughs> Dude, it smells like you're making like a like a tuba. Tuba, oh, it's but banana. What? It's water and Is banana it with water or what? Water what? and some salt. Water and salt mm -hmm. with banana? Mm -hmm. and what's then the... You have to soak it for uh, a week then. and then water it to the plants. Really? Yes. Where did you guys learn that? Is it slim? From the, you know from the companion garden, gardening? Yeah. Kim Poison. No way, we had yeah. like really? That's it's cool. Culture base. So that's from Single Engineer. Mm -hmm. Nice man. Possibly we will plant this one here, but the soil is not ready. That's why we just plant it here. This is all petra. It still grows healthy, but it's small because the space was. Feeling like you can only use this bamboo thing for maybe six months, right? Yeah. Because it's untreated, but it looks good. But we will put the set beds here in the future. How long has this petra been growing for? Already a month. You can almost eat it. Mm. Yeah, you can. No way. But it's small bread. Yeah. Organically, <laughs> uh, no, no pesticides. The, the fertilizer we use is that one. Which one? The banana. Oh, so that's. Mm. That's what the. Oh, I get it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Sarmakab. So fast, dude. That was only like 30 minutes. Let <laughs> me. Mm. If you're somebody who has gout, this is <laughs> this is no your doubt. worst enemy, bro. Yeah. Wow. Gout, no doubt. Gout, no doubt. <laughs> gout, no, no doubt. doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Put some skin. No, mate, huh? This one? Mm. Garlic. Huh? Garlic. Huh? Nah. I realize I like the word in Basaya for skin. Panit. 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 Skin? Skin. Mm. Panit. Panit. Basaya. Wow. Huh? 
dripping. Oh, yo. Perfect. All good? Nice. Yeah. Buko, buko power. Power. Buko power. Gulai power, buko power. Oh no, cocoa abuse. Cocoa abuse. Cocoa abuse. Oh, there was probably like a whole liter if I didn't. Yeah. Sayang. Cocoa, cocoa abuse. Banana, banana. Oh, the banana pit. What's what's in the banana pit? Anything organic? Anything organic? So now, whenever we like open a coconut or whatever. We just add it to the organic garden. Uh, when you say cocoa abuse, uh, when I opened the coconut there, there was this little side section and we lost some of the juice. So that's what we're referring to there. It's always a sad moment. Just buy any flavored sparkling water from Healthy Options or anywhere and add it to a buco and for me, this is one of the most refreshing drinks. Uh, okay, hold up, right here? Mm. No way, man. When it's raining, there's a leak here. That's just from rust, mm. from the salt. Amihan. Holy smokes, three years of salt. So, for those of you wondering, we got the Red Rocket three years ago, and you know, value-wise, they're pretty fun, they're pretty amazing, uh, these kind of vehicles, but if you're gonna be by the ocean, be aware that you might have some serious rush issues because uh, just the saltiness, everything, anything metal here just gets haggard, even the frame of the Red Rocket. Dude. So the past few months we've been doing a bit of like overhauling on this thing. Kumar had it in town and we got to bring it to Tagum someday. Uh, so he's also changing some tire stuff because all of the rims as well, Diva. Mm. They're all rusted. Need to swap it. Even, is this an example right here? Mm. Oh my gosh. And then water? No. No, they're harvesting shells. Oh, is that what it is? Mm. No way. Yeah, down by the river, uh -huh. no? Yeah, totally. That's awesome. So we're heading to town to fix this tire of the Red Rocket. But you notice there, it's like everybody just naturally kind of collects things as they need them here. Like the man on with his sticks, he's probably going to use for firewood or a dirty kitchen. And then the ladies there, they had buckets inside would have been shells because in the back there you can enter the river so they probably were harvesting. We're going to town. It's been a long time since we've been catching them. Kumar has gone to get some chicken feed. It's a beautiful 5 p.m. The sun's kind of poking through the clouds. The plaza here, Kata Il, super beautiful. Love the church, love the vibes. And didn't know this, the municipal hall is going through a full-on renovation right now. So this is officially my bad stop. Hey, buddy. Yeah, this is uh, our municipal hall right now. This is the fourth time I've ever been inside and the first time when there's absolutely nobody because they're just finishing, I guess, some renovations and construction. It was pretty retro and old when you come in here to like pay your sedula and stuff, so 
Yeah, I mean, rock on. We're gonna have a funky new municipal hall, I guess. That is something I didn't expect to see, cool. I'm gonna try and go find Kumar. Oh, there he is. <laughs> They changed the snack stands, Brad. They changed them at the back. Uh oh. Which one, bro? Yeah, I'll take one too. Calamansi cucumber? Mm. Yeah, combo hits. Brother, I have to do it. it. Looks like Obi. Yeah, or Ube Overload. 40 pesos. I didn't even know they have that here. That's new. They just they just started pumping post Malone. There's like a basketball game gonna go on later. Post Malone. What's up? <laughs> I almost got post patai. Hey, check it out. It's really an Ube Overload. I like this one. This is solid. Yeah. Huh? Post Why is it not Post, post Malong? Oh, Post Manong. <laughs> I think it's in, it's in Malong. That's way post better. Manong. Post Manong. There it is, dude. Mm. You know what? Anything purple in the Philippines. It really is a good deal. For 40 pesos. Does it taste like ube? Oh, an ube overload. To be fair, it's not paasa. It's really an ube overload. And they got sagging, actual chunks of ube, the ube halaya stuff, gulaman. All right. I'd come and eat this every time, actually, we're popping in here. I like the framing. There's a dog there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I remember Dice Mo, Brad. Is this Baduts? Is this the local radio playing Baduts? No way. <laughs> Thing you didn't see literally the night I arrived it was Banal Fiesta which is a neighboring Barangay to us. we went to the basketball court there's a sad sad and remember my friend Japanese friend died from earlier what were we doing this move this move show the move <laughs> The best move yeah it was like pure did a bit of dance party okay now we're, going, now we're going back to the house Wait, is that act? Do you actually know that song? What's the lyrics? What's the lyrics? How how the carabao the bato Oh, yeah. How how the carabao Thrine taught me about that actually. So they turned it into a bit of sweetness. You're wondering too. Literally a hundred meters down the road, we had to suddenly pull over because there's fish being sold on motorbikes. And it's the best way to score a quick fresh dinner in the province. Is the blessing with the swasi? Swasi. Oh, I got two no? Mm, ah, nice. Swasi, no? Hello. Swasi is not bad, no? Feeling kilo. What is this, man? Bau. 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 
It's like a bigger swastika. Bao. 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 Cho, what? What? It's a cho. Cho. Bao. 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 It's a Filipino. Bao. It's a Visaya. Bao. Bao. It's a chow. Chow? Jo. Jo. I said Jo. I thought somebody called me Chow. Bao. This is, I, I'm sorry that we're still going with this, but it's Saturday night. This is our provincial radio station. And this is the kind of tunes they are jamming. So, I mean, I just think it's hilariously fun. But at the same time, what a selection of songs. That was three different badots back to back to back. Oh, it's the weekend.